Whether you like it or not, EVs aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Kia knows this, and that's why they'll have 11 dedicated EVs hitting the market by 2026. Which brings us to this, their all-new three-row electric vehicle. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and Kia invited us to beautiful Napa Valley to experience their 2024 EV9. We talked about this during our studio tour, but it never hurts to share it again. At first glance, the exterior design is very substantial, beefy even, but that's not an optical illusion. You see, the EV9 is slightly longer than a Telluride and about as tall too. In front, there are slim LED headlights and there's an optional star map LED lighting grill that's available too. The taillights have this neat design that borders the sides of the hatch and the door handles are flush to keep the body lines clean. Depending upon which trim you get, the wheels range from 19 to 21 inches and paint options will be available in both gloss and matte finishes. To add some perspective to all of this, Kia expects direct competitors to be Chevy's Blazer EV, Ford's Explorer EV, the upcoming Hyundai Ioniq 7, and Toyota's BZ5X. This GT line has 1.8 cubic feet of storage up front, which increases to 3.2 cubic feet for the light trim. And as you might expect from a vehicle of this size, rear cargo area is decent. There's 20.2 cubic feet behind the third row and 81.9 cubic feet when the second and third rows are stowed. As I mentioned earlier, the EV9 is a three row vehicle and space has been maximized thanks to the dedicated EV platform. The materials are comprised of non-leather surfaces, BTX free trim, and partially recycled materials, and they've all been made to not only look nice, but feel so as well. The interior of the GT line is really nice. There's Alcantara on the ceiling, and the front headrests have this netting-like covering that provides a comfortable place for your head. When I tried relaxation mode, the front seat didn't move far enough forward for me to fully extend my legs, but it could still prove useful as additional leg support for front passengers while waiting for your car to complete charging. Haptic switches, similar to what we've seen in other Kias, are present, and there's a dual level center console that appears to float from the first to the second row. The driver is a view of a full color heads up display, and a rear view mirror with camera is available too. Like music, then upgrade to the 14 speaker 708 watt Meridian Premium Audio. Kia calls their new operating system the Connected Car Navigation Cockpit. It's faster, the resolution is clearer, and over the air updates keep things fresh. You can use your Apple or Samsung smart device as a digital key, and you can share those keys with friends and family via text message, then revoke those privileges at any time. Kia will also be offering digital features through their Kia Access app that you can add to your car on a monthly, annual, or lifetime subscription. And that's not all. Six and seven passenger configurations are available, and this wouldn't be a Kia EV without V to L, or vehicle to load, as well as V to H, which is vehicle to home capability. That latter one allows you to put charge or power back into your home in case of a power outage. Kia is also partnering with a company called Wallbox to provide third-party charging management for your home. Their Quasar 2 control unit will determine when to provide or receive electricity to and from your EV9 and home so that it all happens automatically. A few powertrain options will be available. First is a standard 76.1 kilowatt hour battery and 160 kilowatt motor that makes 215 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque driving the rear wheels. Total range for that model is 230 miles and it will accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 7.7 .7 seconds. Want more range? Then opt for the larger 99.8 kilowatt hour battery single motor setup that makes 201 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. This combination is projected to achieve 304 miles of total range and has a 0 to 60 time of 8.8 .8 seconds. Want a little more power? Then you might like the dual motor example with all wheel drive. It too has the 99.8 kilowatt hour battery and produces 379 horsepower and 443 pound feet of torque. This one has a range of 280 miles and should hit 60 in around 5.7 seconds. Want it all? Then that's where the GT line trim enters the picture. It makes 379 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque. 
As expected, at 270 miles, we saw 277. Range is slightly less than the other large battery examples, but it's the quickest of the bunch with 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration in about 5 seconds flat. And Kia emphasized that you can do everything with the EV9 that you might do with a comparable SUV like the Telluride. It has 7.8 inches of ground clearance and can even tow up to 5,000 pounds. And when equipped with the available trailer mode, it'll inform you of how much weight you're towing, as well as give you an estimate of range based upon that weight. The EV9 has a 10.9 kilowatt onboard charger, and its 800 volt electrical architecture will accept up to 235 kilowatts, allowing large battery versions to charge from 10 to 80 percent in under 25 minutes. Level 2 will take 8 hours 45 minutes, and Level 1, 84 hours 20 minutes. Charging times for the 76.1 kilowatt hour battery will be shorter. All of the journalists were provided with GT line trim levels so that we could experience all that the EV9 has to offer. And here are some of my thoughts about how it drives. All right, I'm now finally behind the wheel of this EV9. I gotta say, my man Andy over there, he did a good job. I had a very comfortable ride on the first leg of this trip, but now it's my turn. And it honestly is doing a decent job. You know, I know that it sounds like, all right, I'm supposed to say stuff like that or whatever, but no, really. This car, this EV, this EV9, we just got off of some pretty bad roads back there. And, you know, Kia's trying to make this EV9, uh, or they want you to realize that this EV9 is still an SUV. It's an EV, but it's still an SUV to do SUV things, such as, you know, doing some light off-roading and being able to haul a bunch of stuff and be able to tow as well. And, uh, well, on that little stretch back there where the road was just all over the place, this soaked up all of that. Now, over that rough stuff, I did notice a little bit of reverberation from the tires you know um this car is impressively quiet but you know you're still gonna get little bits of bumps and stuff like that when it's really rough like that i did notice that but now that the pavement has smoothed out a bit again it feels very comfortable as well the steering has got a nice heft to it handling honestly is somewhat responsive for something of this size. I mean, this thing, it, it's, it's gotta be heavy. You know, I don't know the exact curb weight of it, but, um, but overall, you know, this would make for a wonderful, not only day-to-day -day driver, but, you know, if, as long as you can find some place to charge it, it could make a nice road trip vehicle too. <laughs> and road trip we did. We drove well over 100 miles on highways, twisty back roads, and as I mentioned, even a bit of broken pavement. The EV9 was truly EV quiet, and its chassis reacted decently to my inputs. There wasn't a bunch of unnecessary lean through the bends, and power was nice. Like all EVs, you get the appreciative thrust from a start, and there was never a concern when we wanted to pass another car at speed. The brakes felt good too. Of course, we'll have to wait for our full review to truly see what it's like to live with for a week, but first drive impressions were very promising. There are a total of five available trims, and advanced driver assistance systems are present too, including advanced highway driving assist, lane following assist two, forward collision avoidance assist, Kia's DriveWise active driver assistance suite, and 10 standard airbags. So there you have it guys, the all new 2024 Kia EV9. Pricing starts at $54,900 for the EV9 light trim with this GT line starting at $73,900 and they should be on sale by the time you see this video. Oh, and it's assembled in West Point, Georgia, making this the first Kia EV to be assembled locally. So let's hear from you. What do you think about this three row EV9? let us know in the comments section below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.